Be sure to click the little bell icon to actually get the f***ing notifications when I release a video. Because apparently YouTube can't do it. Okay, thanks, bye. Welcome back, viewers, to Cooking with Nanku. Today's show will feature a much sought-after recipe when it comes to Nanku's cooking legends. Today, Nanku will be making boiled overmorph egg. This process is so dangerous that we've had to baby-proof the audience from accidental impregnation. Even a seasoned artist like Nanku himself can make mistakes on this one. Our host for today was going to be Ikafkaf Hichabainov. However, he is still ill. But do not worry, the doctors say he will be out of hospital by next week. We also couldn't get that marine fella in again, as he seems to have passed away last night from natural causes. So with our limited budget and our limited time, and my amazing voice acting skills, we've gotten in a temporary host. I'm pleased to introduce you to a long lost relative of Yolandos, Tank Ayats. G'day, cunt. Oh, before we begin, I better warn you. This episode in particular will have more foul language than usual since Tank Ayats is native to Australia. The show is yours. Righto, cunts, let's get this party started, eh? Nanku, let's get straight to the point. What the fuck are you gonna do? Well, Tunko Arts, to begin you must have a Xenomorph Queen available, and a big enough containment area for her to lay the eggs. Once she lays some eggs you must remove them from the chamber with the utmost care. Make sure to not disturb the egg in the retrieval process as it can amplify the speed at which the face hugger will want to exit the casing. Now that we have the egg in a suitable containment unit, we can prepare the specialized liquid mixture to boil the egg. This particular recipe requires a very large pot, almost 5 by 5 blocks in size, made specifically out of AVP mod plastic. The liquid content we need to fill this with will be 40% water, 40% preservative mist, which can be acquired by taking this big boy's ship and draining their supply of cargo. While the final 20% of liquid may be any of your choosing for extra added flavor. For mine today, I will be adding chocolate. The positioning of the liquid do not matter, as long as you make sure the percentages are correct. When placing your overmorph eggs into the mix, you may want to make sure your placement of the eggs is in the preservative mist filled sections of the pot. If you do not do this, you're going to have some unexpected visitors. This isn't completely necessary but judging from my past experiences and previous deceased assistants, I have come to the conclusion that the chance of an accidental face hogger impregnation is very high. As you can imagine, being boiled alive would be pretty painful. Oh yeah mate, could imagine so. Yes, well, once you have placed the eggs in the correct positions, you will need to boil the pot at a temperature of 403 degrees Celsius, for exactly 48 hours. Righto, let's take a little break and we'll be right back after the eggs are done. Welcome to channel 94. My name is Sir Craps a lot. And today's breaking news may shock you. There has been another earthquake at the Poo Poo Wells excavation site. Several miners have been trapped in what seems to be a deliberate <laughs> cave-in. Relief efforts are being undertaken right now, but it does not bode well for the miners. A renounced physicist, public <laughs> speaker, and beloved family man, who goes by the name of Professor Cybrus Can Do Things, has gone missing. His last known location was recorded near the Cooking with Nanku studio on PP Street last night. If anyone has seen or heard from him since his disappearance, it is strongly recommended you come forward and let us know. Friends, family, and blocks are waiting anxiously. If you have any information, let us know immediately at KL5. Three, two, two, six. Hey, welcome back, mates, to Cooking with Nunny. Anyhow, how are those eggs? They done yet, mate? 
Uh. The name is Nanku, and yes they are complete. You will notice that the eggs have blotched color patterns and the interior is a thick yellow face hogger paste, this indicates that the boiling process has finished successfully. Oh Crocky, let's go! Put that on my plate as fast as you can so I can try it out. I'm starving. Of course, give me a minute to cut off a section and serve it as a meal. Holy fucking shit, this is amazing. Looks like a chocolatey, gooey, spicy, untended, gummy, toughy steak. Very hard to chew. Extremely hard to chew, but what a beauty. I am glad you like it. Please do take the rest of the eggs home to finish. It is my treat. Of course, mate. Appreciate it. Well, thanks everyone for watching this episode of Cooking with Naiku. Glad y'all can make it, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya, mates.